Needs a movie that is actually about、uh, James Bond, make it to the rated R, rated R into a comedy version. So let's do with the English manners that we can talk about. Kingsman: The Secret Service. Since today is the day where Kingsman: The Golden Circle has out. Kingsman: The Gold Kills. I mean, I gotta say, Kingsman: The Secret Service is directed by Matthew Vaughn, the director of X Men: First Class. And kick ass every good movies, especially like kind of like every movies that I watch. But mostly he did most of the 20th Century Fox, especially this movie. So now the Golden Circle has came out, so we're gonna review this. The Kingsman: The Secret Service. Starring this movie is where you got Colin Firth, Taron Egerton, Sophia Turner, or whatever it was. So the plot in this movie is where you got, and is where you got this guy named Colin Firth. Who's protected? Who's protected him by T- Exy's father, and the、uh, Exy character named Taron Egerton, or you can call me Exy, as Gary Goodwin. So Exy really needs to find a way, and he do some gangster, some something like that. When he was small, he really needs to keep his very very important thing to the necklace. It's called the Kingsman. So he really needs to join the Kingsman. That. Colin Firth really needs to focus on him since his dad rescued him. No, I didn't find the first time that I that I see the Golden Circle. I never searched that. I have I have seen Kingsman: The Secret Service before the sequel release because I heard of this I heard of this movie since January 2015. Yes, I tried to go see it in theaters. I th- when I thought. I thought the movie is gonna be PG thirteen, but when I thought it's radar, I was like, "Wow, my uncle just brought me to a radar movie! Oh my god!" And now I can watch radar movies, so I'm about to watch the sequel, and I'm about to watch this. Since my uncle just taught me, this is one of the greatest movies of all time. I said, "So let me talk the plot in this movie. It is great. The plot in this movie is such emotional. It's such great. It's." Some very acting funny plots in this movie. There are very action scenes in this movie, which is very great and very successful. One of the meanings, what I thought of these characters, these characters are so great that I can see them. They are very very grateful. I like the character so much, especially Exy, because I thought he was very funny, very clever, and very suspenseful. So when I see the CGI in this movie is. Kind of like okay, because it prefers to be in an action sequence and impressive skills and wow, that is one of the best action scenes I have ever seen. And the villain in this movie is where he got Samuel Jackson's Valentine, and also there's Professor Arnold who also known as Mark Hamill, or you can call him Luke Skywalker because he is Luke Skywalker also, but he was in this movie. When I thought of this movie, I thought to myself, this movie is actually great, actually, because I think the plot in this movie is not great that bad. When I heard this movie for the first time, I thought it's gonna be bad, but it was probably good because the Rotten Tomatoes got seventy something percent, and I thought it's gonna be good or bad either, as well. So yeah, when I first saw this movie, this movie has surprised me. I mean. This movie has very, very great action scenes. I can tell the characters in this movie. Taron Egerton, he's very great in this movie. And when, for when I thought of this movie, he's very great acting in this character, especially for Colin Firth. And also, there's gonna be spoilers ahead. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna spoil the movie. So the end of the movie is where you got the church scenes. That is one of my favorite scenes of all time. So after the church scenes. Is where you got Valentine has killed Colin Firth, and yeah, and yeah. After that, he wants to get revenge, and and then Exy wants to get revenge on on Valentine. That after that, he was just finding skills and using his umbrella. It makes me want to use an umbrella as a weapon. Kind of like reminds me of Penguin from Batman.
guys you really need to check out this movie and this is one of the best movies of 2015 and yeah this is great action scenes great CGI's great you know, poor performance and very great skills and very great action scenes and one of the best movies of 2015 I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Kingsman the Secret Service an A so after that we have the Golden Circle and the review is not even that good because it got 57% run to miss but who cares I actually like Hitman's Bodyguard since it got a 30 something around tomatoes but I still like it you know so I don't care if the Rotten Tomatoes are bad I will still wanted to see it and nowadays and today I'm gonna watch Lego Ninja Go movie which is I hope is good because the review is not that even good but it's not bad because it got 72 percent which is wow I thought it's gonna be more higher than than something that was sure else but instead it got 72 I will start that it's 72 because it's just the Lego Ninja Go movie why not give Batman Lego movie give it low so yeah I'm gonna watch the Lego Ninja Go movie today I'm not excited I just want to see and yes tomorrow I'm gonna watch Kingsman the Golden Circle and sorry for the mistaken words what I said the Golden Circle because I thought the Golden Circle I have always asked and this, instead of Secret Service so go watch this movie very good and yeah so for those who haven't watched the Kingsman the Secret Service have you watched this Kingsman the Secret Service is it good is it bad or is it okay or you think it's a media core then so see you guys next time and don't forget and I'm gonna watch Kingsman the Golden Circle and see you guys next time